Hello and welcome to Talk War Gaming. We have another unboxing video for you today and we'll be looking at the Humanity Resists um, set which is the first expansion to the Mars Attacks miniatures game and this comes with a whole range of uh, new miniatures and units that you can uh, add to the previous uh, miniatures game which comes with sort of the normal Martian grunts and the soldiers and everything like that. Um, so this is the box here, we've got all the miniatures which are featured in here. Uh, let's have a look on the back. And you can see uh, we've got the exact contents down here. So you get the Humanity Resist rule book, five staff marines, five Martian marines, one Martian attack saucer, one agent Agent Jack Falco, one agent Natalia L, four Nova Sphere militia, one Nova Sphere heavy weapons team, one Nova Sphere sonic disruptor, one flatbed truck, and one pilot saucer Joe. Saucer pilot Joe, sorry, which is uh, exclusive to this box set. So there we've got the all the miniatures in here and you can see they're in the kind of like the coloured plastics which just allow you to use these straight away and they're all pre-assembled so in addition to these uh, two Mantic points that come with this as well so it's always good to see those um, let's open this up and have a look at the contents so here is the box and all of the contents is individually bagged depending on what unit it belongs to so uh, let's go for these green units which I think these are the the Martian Marines um, I'll open those up and we can look a closer look at these after as well um, the Staff Marines as well, they're in their own little group and also the, the Nova Sphere are all grouped together in there we have also the, the Saucer which is quite a solid piece there as well so I'll open that up in a second and also the, the Flatbed Truck as well uh, finally we have the Saucer Pilot Joe which is actually a character it's one of the special characters from the the main game and you can stick this guy inside your saucer and use them as special rules. And finally, here is the rule book. Now this contains all of the information that you'll need to use those forces that we've, uh, the rest of the forces we've got in this book and also gives you a few more scenarios. So for example, uh, we've got some of the special characters here, so Agent Natalia, Jack Falco, um, let's have a look for some of the aliens. Uh, let's find them, Stealth Marines are somewhere in here. There we go. So we've got this, uh, the Stealth Marines, the Martian Marines, and the Stealth Martians, sorry, and the Martian Sources as well. So they're all fairly easy, straightforward rule books, rules to follow there. Um, pretty much the same kind of layout and format as the previous one. And then we have the, the scenarios to go along, which will include all these extra bits as well. So let's uh, zoom in and take a close look at the miniatures in this game. So now that we're zoomed in, let's first of all take a look at the Stealth Martians. This one is armed with a sniper rifle. And these are slightly different from the standard Martians because they don't have the clear dome helmets, so these kind of enclosed helmets. Now there is one of them, which I think is the unit leader, and he does come with a uh, open helmet which you can use a dome on like standard. So these are the uh, the Martian, uh, the Stealth Martians. Um, we've got five of these all together and they're armed with like a variety of disintegrated uh, pistols and knives as well. So I really like the kind of aesthetics of these are very much different from um, the other Martians that we've got in this set and also the previous set and I think the paint scheme, the kind of like the purple and white paint scheme is also excellent on those as well. Continuing with the Martians we have the uh, the Martian Marines so as you can see here they're very much similar to the kind of standard Martian grunts however they've got these kind of added shoulder pads and when you actually paint them up you'll paint them slightly different so this is the kind of leader there and he's kind of standing on this broken brick wall and we have the Martian with a rocket launcher and the rest of the group is kind of just armed with standard um, disintegrator rifles like the rest of them and obviously these ones also require the uh, clear plastic dome helmets as well so we've got a set of those to go with these uh, next up let's look at the saucer so the saucer is actually quite an interesting uh, piece here it's quite big um, it's quite a solid build that's like one entire piece there um, it's like the whole kind of surface outside area of the, uh, the the saucer and we have the pilots we've got two variants as well we've kind of got like a, um, like a normal pilot and then we've got kind of a one the helmet which I believe is like a uh, I think it's a commander or a Martian uh, a marine pilot and they just sit in like that and you can also fit Joe in so very very easy to assemble you just kind of slot the guy in there and you can just have this so the with a little tab at the bottom there and it just fits in this hole so you can just kind of swap them out easy enough so you don't have to necessarily glue this, these Martians in. Um, we also come with a variety of weapon options. We've got some, um, I think, freeze rays, heat rays, and improved communications. And these can uh, sit underneath. So the weapons get attached underneath in these holes here. And the improved communications go on somewhere 
on the back, which I'm not too sure where, but it's, it's around this kind of area. Um, we also get a flying stand for it, so that just slots in, and the sword just sits on top of there. Quite hard to see from this angle, but there we go. And you've got a Martian saucer, and you can paint that, or you can maybe get some clear acrylic as well and use that instead. Um, and we also finally, we have the uh, the clear dome. So now we've looked at the uh, the Martians, let's move on to the Nova Sphere. So here we have the Nova Sphere militia, and these are coloured in a similar kind of way to the rest of the, the human soldiers are. Um, let's pick out a few of the characters here. So these are the agent Natalia and Jack Falco, and these are kind of the main characters, these are the ones with the special rules. The rest of the guys, however, are just kind of like generic uh, people such as these four guys here. So we've got the, um, the Arnold Swartz look-alike and the other three members as well. Put this to one side. We also have some of the more heavy weapons such as this one here which is actually a single piece and it's not consisted of different parts so this just kind of reinforces the fact that this game you can just break out the box and get playing straight away. Put that to one side and finally we have the, the radar dish and the operator as well. We've got the bearded guy with his headphones there. It's quite a nicely detailed piece this is, you've got the little, little keyboard uh, buttons there as well. So next up is the truck. Out of all the miniatures in this set, the truck is probably the one that requires the most assembly as it comes in um, the most amount of parts. Let me just get them all in screen here. Um, however, saying that, it's very, very easy to put together. For example, let me just show you the inside of this flatbed. So we've got these two these struts here and these just kind of line up into these holes and you can just clip those in quite easily. You probably get away with not even needing glue for this, but I would recommend gluing it together just so that um, it's more stable for future uses. So that just fits in there and that, there's your cab. Quite easy to do. Um, this can actually be assembled as a civilian or a military version truck. Uh, that is done by adding these little kind of side guards for the military version and also um, a machine gun which can just be fitted to the top there. So finally that just leaves me with the Pilot Joe miniature. So here we have um, Pilot Joe who's a little red miniature which indicates him as a kind of uh, one of the named characters from like those from the previous set and he just fits into the the, the saucer and he just sits into that little hole and you can just use him same as the Martian equivalents and there there is in there and I think you can also use them in the big stompy robots as well which aren't included in this set but will be in the next expansion. So that was the Mars Attacks Humanity Resist set. Now this is an excellent way to kind of expand on that the, the original miniatures game. Um, not only do you get the vehicles, you also get some of these small special units in here which can expand on the special characters that you got in the previous set as well as on the, the basic characters. So um, it's an excellent way to kind of step forward and expand the game once you've played all the scenarios because you do get some more scenarios to play in this rule book. Uh, the miniatures, as always, are excellent. Uh, the fact that they are all pre-assembled and pre-coloured means that you don't even need to paint them. You can just get them out of the box and start playing the game straight away. You don't need to go through the whole rigmarole of assembling, other than the truck and the, the source. There's very little assembly required for the entire set. So uh, definitely a recommended purchase if you are a fan of the, the Mars Attacks miniatures game. And this is actually the first of the expansions, and there'll be another one later, which is coming later, which contain like the Science Division troops and the big stompy robots as well. So uh, very much look forward to that. If you want to see more unboxings similar to this, be sure to subscribe to us. Always visit us at Talk War Gaming and where you can find a whole host of uh, editorials and reviews and painting tutorials and all sorts of like that. Thanks for watching and goodbye.